Okay, in this video, we're going to um, format this table at the top here and lay it out a little bit neater, make it a bit more like this one down the bottom. And we're also going to put ticks in instead of zeros and ones. So there's a little bit of PHP in here. I just need to delete this bit here, which was an error which I was working out. You will need to open up your style sheet and add in a style for the table. And this is the style that I've used down here, border 2px solid black, background color, the color from the top, border radius, that color, uh, sorry, that size there. And I'm also going to steal some of these styles from up the top here. I might just grab those there and go down to here and copy those in. Just go across and check. I've got border twice. See what that looks like in here. Okay, so that's laid that out like that. I need to space the uh, table cells out. So we go table uh, TH. I only really need to do TH, which I've got up here because then all the data cells that line up with those will be spread out as well. If I do a 100 PX, it should spread them out. Um, in table, I could also add in text align center. And I think it's spelled with an ER, not an RE. Let's check. So that's all centered. Um, or I could left align everything, which probably would make more sense. Um, that's completely up to you. If I do text align left, it's definitely going to make it more readable on a printout. So there, everything's left align. Um, the other thing we could do table TH and table TD. So data cells here, border 1px solid black, table TH. I might just add a border bottom to this, 1px solid black. Uh, maybe 2px solid black, add font weight. Um, we'll leave font weight out for now. And check what this looks like. Confirm got an underline there it has got borders around these bits here what might make more sense because that's looking a bit ugly is instead of this put it around the table row so I'm going to put a border around the table row and that way that didn't actually work but I do get those data cells um, the headers have a border at the bottom of them which isn't bad I won't worry about the border on the TR so I've got that formatted a little bit more and that's looking fine. So what I'm going to do now is over here, I can close off the style sheet. I'm going to need to go into Google Images and type in a tick. So if I go to Google and at the top here, go to Images and type in green tick. Gives me a lot of green ticks here, but at the top, search tools, size, exactly 15 by 15. And I'll click go. Now there's some copyright issues here, <clears throat> but thankfully under usage rights at the top here, I can say labeled for reuse. And if I don't get any, I can click tick. Oh, I didn't get any, unfortunately, not filtered by license. I don't think it's really going to matter on one of these um, if I just use it for now. So I'll just grab I'll grab one of these. I'll grab this one here. It's probably an icon that you can find uh, that would be very similar to this. View the image, right click, save image as, and I'm going to put it into my UAMP folder, which I actually have no idea um, where it is. So I just have to find that. New folder, new volume, new volume, UAMP, dub, 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 internal practice. Click save. So that's the image there. And now I'll go back to here. So I've got my small little image. It's saved in the same location as this PHP file. And what I'm going to do is in these bits here, I'm going to have some PHP code, which will be similar to this here. So it's going to be if, and this is on the 100 meters one, if dollar sign, I go up. Oh, I haven't actually used that. Uh, yeah, dollar sign row 100m and 
brackets, equals, that's two equals, which is checking to see whether this value here compared to this value is true. So if that equals one, and I need to put brackets around this condition, if this bracket equals one, then I'm going to echo this, which is going to be TD, and then IMG, SRC equals the name of the image, which was called tick.small.png, tick-small.png, tick-small.png. have to make sure that I don't use double quotations in there. And end the brackets and end the cell. And then end the quote, end the line. Else, I'm going to echo just an empty cell. Okay, so what I've got here, if the row equals one, which means they're enrolled, we're going to echo a data cell with an image in it, and we're going to close that data cell. And then we're going to end that line because this is effectively a new line, but we can put it on the same line. It will make it easier to read in the long term. Else echo that. So now I'm just going to copy this and go down these four. And we go 200, discus, and 3000 M. Now when I go and preview this, if I go into here and click view group class. I'm enrolled in the 3000M. If I grew group SFY, there's no one in SSH and WWY. There's a few people in there and I can see that the ticks show up in the events that they are enrolled in. So it's a different way of doing it. Um, instead of the zero and the one, I've got ticks in here. These ticks don't look very good. I'd be better to use a blue tick or a black tick in this case. Uh, you may be able to even use an ASCII Tick, ASCII tick, web, ASCII tick symbol, HTML, uh, and if we look at one of these here, there's probably a tick symbol that you can use. Tick, no, there may be a symbol here that you could use to mark it. All of these are different symbols that you can use in HTML. Uh, there we go, there's a tick. So if I put this in, it should work. It may not work, in which case I'm not going to reset the video and do it again. You'll just have to uh, laugh at me. So if I put this in here and save it, oops, and then go and check this out here. Oops, there, 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 it does work. Okay, so you don't even need an image. You can use one of those check marks and just look up the ASCII HTML code for check marks, and it will put that in. So that may be a better way of doing it. And then you can also use align that to the center so that it's not all the way over to the left here. You can put borders on it, make it look nice, make it so that you could even do two pages so that you've got this page and a printable page um, because you don't want to be printing out this page in color. So maybe a white background on it would be a good idea. Uh, from here, next thing we're going to do is the update tasks so that when they go to this page and they type in the same name that's already in the database instead of creating a new entry it's going to update it and it's going to say this entry has been updated and display what's been updated so that's the next video